YouTube. All you crazy people in the world. Well, I hope you're all keeping well, surviving lockdown. I'm in my tent, but I'm in my back garden. Which, you know, I don't mind. Quite a lot of being in a tent. But I'm in the tent for a reason. My uh, middle lad, who's 23 now, he got his uh, COVID test three days ago. Through the post, rang him up, told him he's positive. So this is night three for me in the tent as I'm self-isolating from all of them. Um, mainly because I've got COPD. And uh, so by night, I'm living in my tent. And by day, I'm living in my shed. Oh, this is me on lockdown. This is where I spend my days. Which is no great hardship, anyway, if we've got a lockdown. I built this shed, and it's only a 14 foot long, or a 4 foot wide shed, pent shed. But we made it into somewhere to go, it's part of the garden. And when I had my big accident, I built this pent shed while I was in my wheelchair, with the help of my lad. And uh, I spent all afternoon in a wheelchair going up and down the inside of it, putting screws in the, the walls to the floor. And then over time it's stuck things in there, it's done hobbies in there. And uh, so my wife's got seven foot, and I've got seven foot. And uh, my seven foot is a workstation, uh, you know, things to do crafts with. and and uh, what have you, and my monitors and um, my computers in there. And then in her half, she's got a TV, a chaise long, and pretty much we live out here in the summer runaway. But now because his nibs has got COVID, I'm out of the house, my decision. I just think I'm safer out here than I'm in there. So he's up in his bedroom barking his lungs up and he hasn't come out apart from when he has a, a bath. And then the wife goes up there, bless her, all PPE'd up, mask, gloves, the lot on, disinfects the whole bathroom and then we can all have a go in it. And uh, that's how we're living at the minute. And it's just another adventure, another adventure of COVID. So hopefully he'll seems to be coming through the other side of it. We've got seven more days of isolation from the time that uh, he got his symptoms and his test result. And this is life. And uh, so, yeah, I've got a bug to He's in here. He's all stuck as a bug. And curled up. He's sulking. Uh, he didn't come in here last night my wife slept down here last night until about four this morning and then she was off back to bed so this is night three I ditched the uh, mummy sleeping bag I can't I just can't get on with it just feel too enclosed in it get tangled up in it so I'm back to a big old double square bottle quilt well, um, a sleeping bag and uh, I got a big old thick unicorn uh, unicorn quilt and I gotta say it's nice and warm must be a bit colder tomorrow but hey it is what it is so if you like to subscribe and hit that bell give us show some love got my kayak out and uh, ordered some wheels I thought to myself it'd be alright 
just in lockdown at this point. Get some wheels for my kayak. The canal's only a 10 minute walk up the road. And uh, I'll, I'll drag it up there, go for a, a couple of hours paddle. And uh, it's all set up to go, it's down the bottom of the yard. Because I've got more of a yard than I have a garden, to be fair. So yeah, my kayak was all ready to go. Thought I'd get a bit of therapeutic paddling in as my daily exercise. And now we're up to self isolate and lockdown. But it just, you know, is what it is. Hopefully he gets through it and with no uh, after effects or long effects. And uh, hopefully the rest of us don't get it. So my wife's had me on vitamin D every day for a year now stating that that uh, is beneficial which they're now saying it is to get yourself some vitamin D um, what was I going to do oh yeah I thought I'd give you uh, if I end up doing this daily I thought I'd end up I'll give you my camping tip so today's 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 camping tip You hear the wolf. That's the wolf. That's the little wolf. That's the little laggy. Bless her. Because Dad's in here. She's in there. She ain't happy. My number one camping tip, especially in the winter. Yeah, you've got it. Piss bowl. I had this one in my accident. And I gotta say, I know I only have one piss through the night, and I won't feel that. And it saves me getting out this nice, warm, this nice warm tent. So I'm gonna piss in that bottle. So that is today's <laughs> number one camping tip for us older men. Can't quite get out quick enough. Don't get out. Just get yourself one of them bottles. About two pound fifty, three quid off eBay. Just get with your piss the next day. The God sent on that uh, last wild camp I had, and uh, they've had to get out once. Listen to all the strange noises. The scarier noises camping in my garden and what there is being on the canal or in a wood or in a field somewhere in the middle of nowhere I've come to realise there's a lot of damn cats around here and they don't care how much noise they make but I sleep like a baby I have done the last two nights to be fair Take no more little wolf crying. So she's now in here. Hey, little wolf. Come and say hello, look. Hey, what are you doing? Come and say hello. So she's Aggie. She's Aggie, little wolf. Here's the Bud's Meister. Hey. But yeah, this is Aggie. This is his daughter. And she is a little bugger. Aren't you, Bud? Huh? What are you doing? Getting yourself all wound up. Hey, little wolf. Huh? Oh, no, yeah. You can start here, we got to behave. None of your nonsense. Do you hear me? She's got the adventurer in her like her dad. Now, I'm up, BB. If it comes when we go walking, get the leads out, she goes and gets in the bed. She don't want to know none of it. Hey, how 
Thanks. We're having all that. <laughs> What are you doing? You found me apple core. Trust you. So stay safe out there all. Stay sane. All you people that are struggling. You're not alone. There's plenty of us struggling and having our moments. And uh, I think the best way to get through it is find somebody you can talk to and uh, it's better than bottling it up otherwise you'll just end up losing the plot that don't help nobody so thanks for watching all you crazy people If you like the ramblings of a crazy old man and his dogs, as it is now. Hey, buds. Aggie, you coming up? You come and get a sleeping bag. Yeah, sleep time. Right, all you lovely people, signing off. Stay safe out there.